Hello everyone, I'm back with a new video. Today's video is going to be on this makeup look right here. I had requests for like like a night out type of makeup and this is something I would do. So if you guys want to see how to get this look, then please keep on watching. So for primer today, I'm starting off with the NYX Hydra Touch Primer. Alright, so I'm going in with another primer today. I've been really liking these NYX primers. This is the NYX No Filter Blurring Primer. Okay, for foundation today, I'm using the Fit Me Matte and Poreless uh, Maybelline Foundation. And I'm mixing it with my NYX Born to Glow Illuminating Primer. I'm mixing it on the back of my hand. So whatever's on my finger from mixing, I'm just gonna that on my face and I'm going to be blending it in with a sponge all right guys so I think this video is going to change into a voiceover because I am blazing hot and I'm a fan right next to me but it's really loud so yeah we're just gonna do a voiceover for this video because it is too hot. I really wanted to do a voiceover for this video, but do you hear this fan? Okay, I really meant to say that I wanted to do a talk through for this video, but we ended up having to do a voiceover because that fan was just way too loud. You would not be able to hear me. But moving on, I'm taking the NYX underneath it all face palette and I'm taking that red shade with this blending brush and I'm just messily blending it onto my eyes kind of in the crease but kind of not really if that makes sense i'm taking my hula bronzer on the same brush just to blend that into my crease and make it a little more blown out And here I'm just taking a clean brush just to further blend out any harsh lines that I may have made and to make it even more blown out because this is what we want for this look. And I'm also packing on the red shade just in case I lost it in blending. To make this look more smoky, I'm taking that brown shade in the palette on a pointed blending brush and I'm placing that on my outer V and just blending it out with the same blending brush that I've been using for the red shade. The shadows in this palette are pretty good, but I did get some fallout, so I'm just blending that with my sponge. Um, blending it away with my sponge I should say and then I'm taking the light shade in the palette and just putting that in my inner corners and now I'm taking Lash Paradise by L'Oreal this mascara is amazing you could probably just leave your eyes like this if you don't want to wear false lashes but I did end up wearing false lashes in the end so since I wanted to be extra I took some Queen Bees by Coco Lashes and I just added those to my eyes and now moving on to concealer, I took NYX concealer and the L'Oreal, I think the Dewy concealer, yeah. And I'm blending those with my sponge as well, underneath my eyes and on the center of my face. For highlight today, I'm using the NYX A Wavy Glow Liquid Highlighter. I just noticed I'm using so many NYX products, but I've just been loving them lately. And to set my concealer and everything, I'm using the NYX Banana Powder. It's the HD powder. And I like to set my eyes before I go in and bake. And for baking, I'm using the J-Cat Beauty Banana Powder. To set the rest of my face, I'm using my MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation. I like to use this because it not only sets the makeup, but it gives me a little bit of extra coverage, which I kind of need because I've been breaking out. So I'm using that to blend all over my face. 
and then for bronzer i'm using the hula bronzer the same one i used on my eyes and i'm just bronzing up my skin and contouring a little bit I'm blending out my bronzer and my contour a little bit with that same MAC powder and then I'm also baking underneath my contour just so it looks a bit cleaner and just more crisp. So I'm taking that same NYX palette again. It's a full face palette so it comes with highlights and blushes as well. So I'm taking the highlights on a big fluffy brush and I'm just blending that onto my skin and then I'm taking the peachy shades for my blush today. Here I'm just blending away any extra face powder as well as blending all of the face powders into my skin and then using the same shadows underneath my eyes with the same mascara. For lips today, I'm using the NYX Suede Lip Liner and I'm lining my lips as well as filling it in to use as my lipstick. And then taking the NYX Clear Gloss, I wasn't kidding when I said I'm using a lot of NYX products today, but I'm using that as my lip gloss. And then I'm taking the Scandinavia Makeup Setting Spray and setting it all in so it doesn't budge. I've been really loving this spray. I use it on my clients and it just makes the makeup last all day long. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you did, please like this video down below. There's a little thumbs up. Let me know if you do or if you don't. And don't forget to subscribe. Also, tell your friends to subscribe to me. I'm trying to reach 300 subscribers by the end of this month. And I will see you in my next one. Bye!